Namaste. So it's Navaratri, which is the great nine nights. Huh? That's what Navaratri means. And this time we worship the goddess in the form of Durga. So this is a very auspicious time. Uh, it was also just Amavasya, new moon. And Jupiter is in Pisces, which is my Lagna. And he's retrograde. And he's also at the closest approach to planet Earth in 67 years or something like that. Very auspicious. Very wonderful time for any kind of spiritual endeavors. So what am I doing? Starting a temple. <laughs> we'll see in a few minutes the groundbreaking ceremony. Not much of a ceremony, really. We're not so much into formal worship, but into more spontaneous, intimate worship. And on that platform, ceremonies are bare, minimal, <laughs> very simple. And what we're doing basically is adding a room to my host's house, which uh, I covered in an earlier series. And you can see that. Uh, so the crew is here. They're working. You can probably hear them in the background. And they are uh, taking out a bunch of earth and rocks and making a flat place to build a, a temple 12 by 12 feet. And uh, we'll have a little peaked roof and a flag on the top. And... Uh, but it won't be a public temple. It's strictly a private temple, like a family temple. And uh, be the pujari. <laughs> I got one beautiful crystal shivalingam. It's called Svatik, or quartz crystal. And their name, because the lingam is both Shiva and Shakti together in the formless form. Their name is Sri Ardhanarishwara. Ardhanarishwara means the half male, half female form of Shiva, <laughs> which is very befitting for me. Uh, so he will be, or they will be, the deities, and uh, we'll do our best to worship them very nicely with lots of love. Those of you who have been following this channel for some time know that for a long time I've been looking for compatible association. Uh, it's very important in spiritual life to be associated with good people. And as you know, we're not such a big fan of elaborate ceremonies and big temples and big organizations. Rather, our style is more minimalist. What is the least that we can do, the least complicated, the least entangling, uh, the least pretentious, and the least uh, complicated kind of worship that we can do that is satisfying to God and Goddess. So, these two things combined together, and also, you know, my kind of uh, esoteric points of view on things, have made it very difficult to find a group or assembly or whatever kind of sangha um, that is accepting and understanding, supporting, and compatible with my style. But I'm very happy to say that I've been pretty much accepted as a family member by the Pandes, the Pande whole Pande clan here, <laughs> all the way to the cows. And um, I just went to Rishikesh for a month to purchase uh, the lingam and puja equipment 
and we all missed each other very much. So now I'm back and we've broken the ground on the temple construction. And over the next month or so, we're going to be actually constructing the building and fitting it out as a center of worship. And I'll be honest, it's mainly for me. <laughs> I need a place where I can worship Shiva and Shakti in my own style without anyone criticizing or judging or trying to evaluate according to some other standard that doesn't really apply. Because, as you know, if you've been following this channel, I got Shakti Pat directly from Shakti back in 1984. So, you know, it's quite a long time ago. And since then, I've had to study a lot and learn a lot to understand really what happened and how it happened and what it means. But now I feel very well grounded and finally properly situated in my devotional service on the platform of Aham Brahmasmi. I am Brahman. I am nothing but Brahman. I have always been Brahman and I will always be Brahman because I am pure consciousness. So on that platform, to worship <laughs> Shiva and Shakti is quite a different experience than to do in karma yoga style, uh, following rules and regulations and lots and lots of ceremonies and elaborate pujas and, you know, lots of mantras. This is going to be very, very simple. I wanted to evolve a style of worship that is both satisfying to Shiva and Shakti and compatible with my individual nature and also which can be shared and emulated by people in different parts of the world that may not have such great facility like we do in India. So even though I'm building a temple from scratch, purpose built just for this purpose, and uh, of course I have a lot of access to um, elaborate equipment for puja. I'm trying to slim things down, simplify as much as possible without making too simple. And according to Shastra, that's very important because whatever we do has to be authorized. It has to be supported by the Vedic literature. Otherwise, it's just our own opinion. It's our own mental speculation. And it's pretty likely to be wrong. <laughs> because what do we know, right? So, with all that in mind, now I want to present just a few minutes of footage from this morning's little ceremony. And We're on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Huh? Yes. So this is the site where the small temple is going to be. And this is Dharmendra Pandey. He is very kindly allowed to use his property and uh, make a home for Shiva and Shiva's devotee. <laughs> So, what do you think? Is this a good thing? Good thing, good thing, better faith. Good thing, yeah, better faith. She puja. Every day she puja. Ah. And uh, lots of japa, japa, lots of kirtan. Yeah. Bhajan. Bhajan. Yeah. Bhajan. Every day. Bhajan. Every, every day. Bhajan. Every day. And bathing. Every day. Bathing yeah. lingam. Lingam. Yeah. Very important. So, every day we're bathing the lingam. In the back here is the spring head. Water tank. Yeah. Can I show that? So this is where the spring comes. Yes. 24 hours a day. Spring water. What a great wealth. Yeah. And the perfect thing for puja. Oh.
शिवाय सत्पत नम नम प्रकृति भक्ताय गौरीधात्रे नमो नमो सर्वंगल मांगल्य शिवे सर्वा साधि शरण्य क्रांति गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते सर्वंगल मांगल्य शिव सर्वार्थ साधि के शरण्य त्रांबिके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते कर्पूर गौरम करुणावतारम संसार सारम भुजगेन्द्र हारम सदा वसत हृदयारविंदे भव भवानी सहित नमा रामाय राम भद्राय और रामचंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथाय नाथाय और श्रीचिताय पत्ये नम गजाननम भूत गणाधि सेवित कपित जम्बो फलचारु भक्षण उमा सुतम शोक विनाश कारक नमा विघ्नेश्वर पाद वाक्रतुंड महाकाय और सूर्य कोटि सम प्रभो निर्विघ्नम कुर्मे देव सर्व कार्येशु सर्वदा रोगान शेषान पहंत दुष्टा दुष्टानु कामानु सकलान विष्टा त्वामा सितानान विपन्न राणाम त्वामा सितानाम सनाम प्रयांति This. Oh. We can put down. Yeah. yeah. सर्वंगल मांगल्य शिव सर्वार्थ साधि के शरण्य त्रांबिके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते नमो देवी महादेवी शिवाय सत्सत नम नमो प्रकृते भक्ताय गौरीधात्रे नमो नम गौरीधात्रे नम नम गजानन भूत गणाधि सेवित कपित जम्बो फलचारु भक्षण उमा श्रुत शोक विनाश कारक नमा विघ्नेश्वर पाद पंकज सर्वाधा विनर्मुक्त धन धान स्वाम्यहम एवं दया कार्य हो वशमद्वैर विनाशिन वशमद्वैर विनाशिन वशमद्वैर विनाशिन वशमद्वैर विनाशिन वशमद्वैर विनाशिन ओम या देवी सर्वूतेषु शांति रूपेण संस्थित नमस्त 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 नमो नम नमस्त नमो नम रोगा शेषा पहांत तुष्टा दुष्टा काम सकलाष्टा तामाशिता विपन्न राण तामाशिता सनाम प्रयांति ओम महा ओम महा ओम महा नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय And as the construction goes on, I'm going to be giving updates and showing how the work is progressing. And uh, it should go fairly quickly, but you know, it's India. <laughs> so anything can happen and probably will. Last night, I had woke up in the middle of the night, as I often do, and I was meditating and I heard a jungle cat, a, a mountain lion, probably, and uh, twice coming and going to our little valley. So this is an auspicious sign because of Navaratri. Ma Durga, of course, rides on a lion or a mountain lion or a tiger. Anyway, a big kitty cat. <laughs> so this is a sign, I believe, that you know she knows what we're up to, certainly. 
and she approves and blesses us. And also I cast the I Ching last night, you know, just, just to see what, what it has to say. And I got hexagram number one, creative power with no changing lines. So this is the situation here. And I'm looking forward, especially uh, from the beginning of next year, when Saturn goes into my 12th house. I'm in Sade Sati. So uh, I've been now through two and a half years of Saturn in my 11th house. And beginning in January, he goes into my 12th house. So it's going to be very intense. And I'm going to be uh, making a lot of videos, continuing the Shiva Purana series, of course, but also showing videos as to how the puja is going, how the worship is going, and how everything is coming together and hopefully bringing us higher and higher towards the full enlightenment of Shiva and Shakti. Aung Tatsat, Aung Shakti Aung, Aung Namah Shivaya.